Hello, welcome to my video series of algorithms. This is part 6 of module 1, sorting algorithms. In this video, we will discuss the heap sort algorithm. We have discussed four sorting algorithms so far, namely the selection sort, insertion sort, bubble sort, and shell sort algorithms. The first three algorithms have a time complexity of on square, and shell sort algorithm runs in on to the power of 1.5. One question we might ask is whether we can develop sorting algorithms with better time complexity. The answer is yes, and we do know some algorithms that can run in on log n time. Note that polynomial functions grow faster than logarithm functions. In this case, O n log n is a better time complexity than O n to the power of 1.5. In this module, we will discuss three sorting algorithms that can run in O n log n time. They are the heap sort, merge sort, and quick sort algorithms. In this video, we will focus on the heap sort algorithm. Heap sort is developed based on the heap data structure or the priority queue data structure. If you are not familiar with heap, it is okay. I will introduce the basis of the heap to help you understand the heap sort algorithm. A heap is a tree-like data structure that has the following two properties. First, elements in the heap are organized as a full binary tree or binary tree in general. By a full tree, we mean the new element must be inserted to the highest and leftist location whenever it's available. Second, each non-leaf node is smaller than its children. In this case, we call the heap a mean heap. Or, each non-leaf node is larger than its children. In this case, we call the heap a max heap. Here is an example of a mean heap. The upper part of the right figure shows the case where the elements are organized as a tree. You can verify that for each non-leaf node, it is smaller than its children. But the siblings can be placed in any order. Also, note that the tree is not complete as node 3 only has one child, but the tree is full by definition. For better efficiency, the heap data structure is implemented as an array. The lower part of the right figure shows how the elements are stored in an array. Because the tree is full, we can establish a simple correspondence between the positions of the nodes in the tree and the indexes in the array. We can simply traverse the tree top down and left right, and place the elements in the array from left to right. Here in the figure, the black numbers besides each node correspond to the node's indexes in the array. Note that in the array, we will leave the zeroth index empty. With the dummy position, given the index of a node, we can calculate the indexes of its parent and its two children. That is, if the index of a node is i, then the index of its parent is floor of i over 2, its left child is i over 2, and its right child is i over 2 plus 1. Such simple computations allow us to traverse the tree easily without explicit pointers. Recall the heap properties, where we say each non-leaf node is smaller than its children in a mean heap. In this case, we can easily see that the smallest element must locate at the root. In this case, we can develop a very simple sorting algorithm that contains three iterative steps when the elements are organized as a min heap. First, I'll put the element in the root. Second, delete the root. Third, adjust the heap by filling the root and ensuring the heap property. We know outputting the root and deleting it is easy, and we will take a deeper look at how to adjust the heap after the root is deleted. We will use a fundamental heap operation called percolation to adjust the heap. The percolation operation ensures the heap property by comparing an element with its parent or children and swapping them if needed. 
Consider the example where we have the root removed from the heap. We will simply place the last element 7 to the root. In this case, we can ensure that the heap corresponds to a full tree. However, we know that the last element 7 may not be the smallest. In this case, we shall perform dump calculation to place 7 in its proper location. According to the heap property, we know that each node should be smaller than its children. So, we compare 7 with both of its children and swap it with the smaller child if it is larger than the smaller child. Note that the rule applies to min heaps. For max heap, we should swap the node with its larger child if the node is smaller than the larger child. In this example, we know 7 is larger than its smaller child 5. So, we swap 7 with 5. Now, we proceed with the down population for 7. We also compare it with its two children and find that 7 is smaller than the smaller child. In this case, the heap property is ensured and no further down population is needed. From the procedure, we can see that the population operation takes an effort that is linear to the height of the tree. Because the heap is a full binary tree, the capacity of the heap doubles for each additional layer. In this case, we can store n nodes in a heap with a height of log n. It follows that percolation operation takes O log n time. Note that the above algorithm applies when we already have a heap, which may not be the case if we are given an arbitrary input list. In this case, we need to build a heap from the input list. We claim that heap construction can be done in ON time and in place. If you are not familiar with this process, you can read the reference we cited here. Here is the serial code for the heap sort algorithm. In line 2, we need to apply the heap construction algorithm to the input array A. The heap construction algorithm runs in ON time and is in place. In the for loop, we iteratively output a root element delete it, and adjust the heap. Let's move on to the analysis of the heap sort algorithm. First, we can see that the algorithm is correct. Because it iteratively outputs the smallest element in the current set, therefore, its output must correspond to a sorted list. We then look at its time complexity. First, the heap construction stage takes O n time. Then, for the for loop, we know that it will iterate n times. For each iteration, while outputting and deleting the root only takes a constant time, we need to spend O log n time to adjust the heap. Taken together, the for loop needs O n log n time to complete. And it dominates the O n time needed for heap construction, making the time complexity for the overall algorithm O n log n. For the space complexity, we first know that we can directly output a sorted list without storing it. If we need to store it, we can allocate an array with size n. It shows that the space complexity is O n. Still, we're interested in seeing whether the heap sort algorithm is in place. The short answer to the question is yes. We can indeed make heap sort in place. The trick is to utilize the space released by deleting the root to hold the output sorted list. For example, consider again the example shown here. We know we should first output 4, then delete 4, and finally place the last element 7 to the root and adjust the heap. When moving the last element 7 to the root, the space that was holding it is released. The space corresponds to the sixth position in the array and is highlighted by the red circle. We can use the space to hold the output 4, and the strategy requires no more space. For the next stage, we will output the root 5, delete it, and replace it with the last element 16. Now, the fifth space in the array is released, and we will use it to store 5. 
You can see that when the algorithm is complete, the input array will contain a list of elements sorted in descending order. Recall that our goal is to sort in ascending order. So, there are two ways to make the descending list in ascending order. One way is to swap the ith element with the n minus ith element for all i from 0 to i over 2. Or, we could use a max heap instead of a min heap, where the algorithm will always place the largest element at the last position. Either way, we will be able to make the list in ascending order. With this trick, we claim that we can make heap sort in place. In summary, we have discussed the heap sort algorithm in this video. Heap sort has the fastest time complexity we have encountered so far, which is on log n. It is also an in place sorting algorithm. In the next video, we'll discuss another on log n time sorting algorithm, the merge sort. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.